2014 was a grim year for China's housing market, with government data showing the country's real estate investment, sales areas, and amount of commercial housing all experiencing a remarkable drop. While the new year should come with a positive new outlook, Li Daokui, head of Tsinghua University's Center for China in the World Economy, believes that the property sector still needs more time to recover. Two years ago,、uh, the government. Uh, in the central government uh, has not uh, pub, uh, issued any、um, tailor-made policies to so-called save the property market. Rather, the property market is working on its own cycle, right? So the intention, I think, the policy intention is to let poli- let the property market go through its own cycle, let the market force play、uh, its role in adjusting the property market. Uh, so I think it will take another, perhaps one year, maybe eighteen months, for the Chinese property market to go back to its、uh, former path of positive growth in terms of、uh, price and the transaction volume. Li says that China's property market policy should be fully justified by the condition of the local markets. On the high housing prices in Beijing, Li said that pressure in Beijing's property market will continue to rise. The property market is, by definition, a local market, right? Different cities have different、uh, situations, right? So different cities really have to work on their own, right? And、uh, Beijing. for Beijing,、um, the pressure is still on the rising side. The property prices and the rents are still going up, right? So in Beijing, I do not think the municipal government will relax its policy. Uh, with regards to property market, the restriction of purchase of property most likely will remain in Beijing, whereas in most other cities,、uh, secondary tertiary cities,、uh, the former、uh, restrictions of purchasing of property、um, has mostly been abolished because situation is different from Beijing.